Alrighty then. So are you ready to begin this competition, everybody? <laughs> All right, so we're going to introduce our women contestants first. And we're going to let you know a little bit about them as we do so. And I guess we get to ask them a question. Which is going to be fantastic. And then you're going to get to see them after they leave the stage. They're going to come back and they will do a review for all of our judges. So I'm going to wait for Wu Tier to get to his seat. There he goes. All right. Are our contestants ready? Are our judges ready? Woods Campground, are you ready? Okay. Not ready. Password, computer. <laughs> so everybody, you, 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 you got a chance to come out and party last night with us? Yeah. In, the, in the party tent down the way? Did you all have a good time? Yeah. I know a few of you did. I did. It was all fun. It was all good. I see some nods of approval. Did you hear what happened this afternoon? Oh, what happened this afternoon? Well, we also have a habit of trying to make Susan say different words. Well, she was in, I'm not gonna make her say a different word right now. However, she was in trying a corset today. And she figured, oh, the Amazons are out there playing games. They're not gonna see anything. <laughs> so she's standing here, trying on the corset with the leather uh, vendors here. So she turns around, takes it off. Every damn woman out there turned around and screamed at her. Why wouldn't they? Dirty pillows for days. And they're not even dirty. I want to sleep on them, but that's, that's just my own problem. Okay, so we're ready. Our contestants are ready. Let's start with contestant number one. Please bring to the stage, I believe this is Karen Taylor, everybody. So, uh, Karen Taylor... Ms. Baltimore Leather Associate for the Deaf 2008 and 2009. Her special interests are reading, plays, and comedies. And let's see, club membership. She's Shipmates of Baltimore 2011. Her favorite piece of leather, or her leather brace, bracelets? Gauntlets, okay. They wrote braces. Uh -huh. Oh, you like your suspenders? I love suspenders. Uh, snap, come on out here. Okay, so you know how this, this, this part of the, the, the contest works. We have a question, randomly drawn. I'm going to read the question aloud. You're gonna get a chance to read it to yourself. I'm gonna read it aloud one more time, one more time, and then you're going to answer. Okay, got it? Look at that smile. Okay, so here we go. So what do the colors red, black, and blue mean in the hanky code? I hope you make this fun. What do the colors red, black, blue mean in the hanky code? The mic is yours. And thank you so much for that. Thank you. Well, let's start with red. Okay. <laughs> red. Sometimes we just need to have a little fun in our life. Oh, uh, uh, two weeks ago I was a sign language interpreter and they all saw me do something like this in regards to that. So this people being the recipient of being fisty, so we have red. Number two, black. SNL. Oh, come on, gals and guys. You guys know what it is. You girls, hey, how you doing? <laughs> come talk to me. Either way, S or M, I'm good. <laughs> and we can start with the back, work down the, to the bottom, and then go to the front. 
putting it to the side, we'll be all right. So uh, heavy S or on the S and M for black, and then blue, sixty nine. Oh, I'm not going to owe you one. It's sixty eight. Trust me. <laughs> I'm not going to owe anybody. So thank you, uh, sixty nine, and that's for blue. And that's pretty much all I have. Well, thank you very much. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, give her a big round of applause. This is Karen, everybody. We're going to ask Karen to leave the stage, and we will bring her back momentarily. But let's move on to our next contestant. Our, ne our next contestant is contestant three in the pool, but she is our second woman contestant. Please welcome Hadar Roisman, also known as Lady Desire. Lady Desire is 48 years old. Her interests are producing Philadelphia leather bar nights, performing burlesque, providing service to the leather community, reading, and cooking. Please welcome Lady Desire. Thank you. Your question is with all of what the campground offers to the LGBT community, what would you offer back to the communities that support what you do? Um, really, there's one answer to that. Um, and what I can offer the campground back is myself, my time, my effort, my contribution, my getting out there and making sure that everybody knows what the campground is about, making sure that I'm here for people to see me, for people to know that I'm part of this community and get into the dirt, even though they'll get under my nails. <laughs> But thank God there's nail salons pretty close by, I think, I hope. <laughs> and uh, make sure that people know that I'm ready to get down in the dirt as much as represent them outside in the larger community. Thank you very much. Don't go too far. We'll bring you back here in a second, okay? We're going to bring it back. All right. We're going to do a comparison for our judges. Please bring to the stage contestant number one, Karen Taylor, everybody. <laughs> Stay here, Karen. Thank you. She's got to do her runway walk. Oh, you do your runway. Walk that runway, girl. RuPaul is out there somewhere. It's all about charisma, uniqueness, and talent. And please welcome back to the stage, Lady Desire. Ladies, ladies, go ahead and step to the front of the stage, please. You can get a little closer together. Unless you bite. I think they might like that. <laughs> I love a good bite here and there. Thank you very much, ladies. All right, we're going to bring to the stage our next contestant this evening. This is one of our male contestants, the only male, and that's okay because he's competing against scores. So please bring to the stage contestant number two, Mr. Chuck Widows, everybody. Yeah, yeah. Chuck was actually the Mr. Woods 2015 runner-up. He enjoys camping, gardening, people watching, of course. Mama's family rim master. I'm sure there's a rim chair around. This is, after all, an adult camp. His favorite piece of leather is his chaps, of course. And why is that? Because it's easy access, everybody. Uh -huh. Favorite fetish is eating a nice bubble butt. It's like chewing a piece of bubble gum, everybody. Yes, please meet and greet contestant number two. This is Mr. Chuck Widows.
I just gotta say this question. <laughs> If you needed to do drag, what would your take on it be, and what song would you perform to? <laughs> really, this is the, the second time that I've gotten a wonderful question from my wonderful group of judges. <laughs> So sorry. We're in that mic. So I would not have a problem doing drag. Um, however, my outfit would be a dominatrix. Yeah. Woo! Woo! And you know what? I think I'm going to do. I'm a sweet transvestite. Yeah. Thank you. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, that's contestant number two. I'm going to make you stand there for this one more moment, check while the judges are finishing their scores. Can I get a little walking music? Thank you. Can you the model for a minute? Work it. Yeah, because there are, there are the, you're the only contestant, so there is no comparison for you. But, because you're one of a kind. You are truly one of a kind. Look at that smile. Turn out there and face that crowd. Give them a big old smile. Show them those people. And you know what, Woods Campground, if you like what you're seeing, you know, you can raise all kinds of noise out there. Yeah. We know you work. Ladies, gentlemen, and judges, contestant number two, that's Chuck Widows, everybody. Yeah.